Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into anything, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on my channel and also within the Discord. We finally hit the 1,000 member mark, and at the rate of growth that we have been getting is actually insane. Jay and I, and as well as the other mods within the server, highly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. So again, thank you guys for the support, and we're only going to get better from here. Now onto the video, this is a highly requested video from most of my customers around the server and in general, and this is how to set up OBS for the best clipping recording features without the high latency. And so I'm going to show you guys what the best settings for OBS are for clipping. So I'm going to leave everything within the download link in the description, it's all going to be within the Discord. And first of all, what we're going to do is download and install the OBS, this is going to be the version 27.0.0. .0. And then once you actually get into here, you're going to start up with a screen something just like this. You're going to click optimize for just recording. I will not be streaming and then do 60 FPS, click next and then apply settings. And for your sources, you can do this one of two ways. One, you can do a display capture or two, you can do a game capture. So whatever you mainly want to capture all the time. So for me personally, I'll do the display capture. I'll click OK and then I'll put this onto my primary monitor and then I'll click OK. And from here, you can just right click it and then enable the preview. And this will disable all the previews for less CPU usage. Then we can come down into the settings tab right down here and then we can usually keep all of this um whatever it is just uncheck the automatically check for updates on startup and then we can go ahead and go down to the output area and for here for output mode go ahead and put it to advanced and then for recording you just want to put this wherever you want your recording path to be so for example if i wanted it on my desktop i would just create a new folder and then i would name it clips and then i would just select it and then select folder and then bang, right here, all the videos and clips will be saved to your desktop. And then for your recording format, I usually do MP4, always. And then for encoder, it's different for different types of GPUs. If you have an NVIDIA, use the NVIDIA NVENC H.264. And if you're on an AMD, you can just use the stream encoder or the X264. You can choose in between each. So since I'm in NVIDIA, I will choose the NVIDIA NVENC H.264. And then the, for the rate control, if you just want to do clipping for like 20 to 30 seconds, we can do CQP and put the CQ level on 16 to 18. For me, I'll do 17. And then for the preset, we can go low latency. And you want this on high, look ahead, uncheck, and then psycho visual tuning checked. And then put this on zero and two, and then you can click apply. And we can go down to the audio. So this really doesn't matter too much. I usually keep this all the same unless you want to change your desktop audio to whatever your desktop audio is, so like your headphones and stuff like that. And then for your mic, put it what your mic would be at. And all these settings are pretty fine. And you can come down to the video. This part is very important. So for this, you would change the downscale filter to bilinear. Make sure you do bilinear or else your clips are going to look really bad. Do common FPS value at 60. Click apply. And then for your clipping software, we can head back to the output. Go to the replay buffer, check the enable replay buffer, set the amount of time you want your clips to be. So for me, I do 25 to 30 seconds, so I'll do 30 seconds. I'll click apply, come back into the hotkeys area, scroll down until you see your replay buffer. For your save replay, put that as your clipping button. For me, which would be F9, and then we can apply this, and then click OK. For now, this is what the main setup would look like. You want to go back into the settings go to advanced make sure your process priority is on normal if you put this on anything else it can interrupt your game making frame drops or higher latency occur and then you can go down here to sources for your enable browser source hardware acceleration uncheck it click apply and then okay and it's going to ask if you want to restart it and now we're here so now we have everything set up almost perfectly now i'm going to get to the next part where we can get it to auto startup with the clipping software so you don't have to click start replay buffer every time so now we have this auto start. I'm going to have this within the Discord server where you can join and then you can get all these files. So what you would do from here is right click these, show more options, and then go to the properties on your OBS. And then go to the very right side, click the space bar one time, and then control V. And then what you're going to want to do is apply and then click OK. And then what you would do is copy this OBS, do Windows plus R, type in shell, colon startup. Then you're going to come into the shell startup, drag your OBS within the shell startup. And then what you can do is just make sure everything is saved as it is for me. And then bang, there you go. Now this is done. I've showed you the best OBS settings for clipping and recording. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. We're only going to get better from here. And if you guys want to check out our website, go to lumentweaks.com. We have a standard session, advanced session, and bio session. And you can save 10% with code LUMEN10. And if you guys want any updates, join the server at discord.gg slash lumen, where you can go also see where our advanced, standard, and bio sessions are. You can talk with our community if you ever need help with anything. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all later.